Uh, well, yeah, I thought about it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Keep that on the back burner, see what happens. Okay. I'm like doing some origami with your cords back here, so. Okay, so I'll light myself with the canal. Yeah. Oh, this is a lovely little spot. Alright, why don't we do some clearing turn? Yeah. Wanna do a warm up loop or you just wanna get right to it? I think we'll just get right to it. Right on! So let's say where's the wind? Uh well if I do a constant rate turn I can find out. Okay, so as we kinda like we got any telltales on the Out of the north. Okay, well, uh, Central Valley, that makes sense. Okay. It's out of the northwest. It's like, it's like this. Okay. Hey, can you see it on the water? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, let me get it all the way around. That's actually really cool. I bet you that doesn't come off of the camera, though. You're asking a hang glider pilot where the wind direction is? Well, no, that's why I'm asking the hang <laughs> I'm asking that purpo person purposely. If you're low altitude and you're sending up the land and you have no other wind cues and you see birds sitting on a wire, remember, birds always face into the wind. Yep. Alright. Alright, we're at 5-5, five five, right? Yep, 5-5. Five five. Okay, so I'm going to line up on the canal and then we'll get started. Okay. Loop, half Cuban, Immelman, Goldfish. Do you want me to worry about wind correction on the maneuver? Or no, no, no. Alpha Charlie on him. Seatbelts, G meters, doors and windows. Oh, Checklists are stashed. Buckles are buckled. I got my headset, you got your headset. Strappies are strapped. I tucked a bunch of your cords, you're clipped. Okay. Okay, uh, all right. Minus and let's try the 150 or the 155 for the loop. I know the book says 140, okay. but we're never going to get through the sequence at 140 without losing just shameless amounts of altitude. Okay. All right. Loop, Cuban, Immelman, Goldfish. All right, here we go. Ready? 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 Got it. I love this job. Oh, 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 harder, harder, harder. Look left. There you go. Beautiful. Begin to relax a little bit, begin to relax a little bit. Let the airplane go ballistic. We'll hang in the straps. Begin to pull again. There you go. Increasing pull, increasing pull, increasing pull, increasing pull, increasing pull. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice job. Pull, 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 pull. Half Cuban, please. There you go. Looking left, looking left, looking left. Let the airplane go ballistic. Let the airplane go ballistic. Beautiful. Find that 45. Stop it. Left. Beautiful. Find your thing. Wonderful. Give me a little speed. Pull, 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 pull. Show me that in a moment. Yeah, sorry, in a moment. Beautiful. Pull, 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 pull. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. All right, flip it. Beautiful. Don't let that nose come down. Don't let that nose come down. Bam. All right. Beautiful. That's okay. We're going to dive for the goldfish. 45 downline. Beauty, 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 beauty. Pull, 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 pull. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Looking left. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, let it go. There you go. Roll over. Beautiful. Alright, now shark two. Pull me to the vertical, please. Pull, 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 vertical right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Pull hard. So the 45 inverted. 
Beautiful. Show me 45. Roll over. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Power back, good. Hammer. Full power. Full, 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 full. Right there, hold it. Wait for it, wait for it. Kick it. Love it, love it, love it. Hold that foot, hold that foot, hold that foot. Beautiful, all right. There's down line. Beautiful, you rule. Oh, we did it out of order, but that's okay. Let's do a Humpty Bump. Okay. All right, pull the vertical. Pull, 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 pull. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Right there, all right. Loop at the top. There you go, boom, boom, boom. Back down to the vertical down line. There you go. Pull, 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 that was great, dude. Okay, so we did the Humpty Bump in the Ooh, hand. Oh, airplane. Oh, okay. Traffic. Like super close? Yeah, right. See him? There you go, good. Good eyes. All right, let's take a moment. That, that was lovely. Okay, so I told you to do the hammer in the Humpty out of sequence. Okay. I apologize. All right. Other than that, that was great. I couldn't see the sequence card. That was just me remembering it. Okay. <laughs> Tell me your, tell me all about it. <laughs> uh, um, so a couple of times where I'm rolling out, like I'm realizing I'm coming off and heading. So okay, more, more foot, foot with the roll. Correct. Okay, got it. Take a moment. I'm gonna get back up to 500. That's great. Okay, so that sequence should occupy about three minutes, ten. Oh, okay. Something like that, or at least a strong 250. Okay. How much altitude do we lose? Uh, about a thousand. Oh, right on. Okay, so then we kept really good energy though. And we never redlined, or not redlined, but we never got past 180, did we? No, I don't think we did. Good. I glanced at it occasionally, but I could feel through the G and the noise. Yeah, 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 because that wind got a little loud there for a minute, but I mean, nothing like... That's crazy. Oh, feels good, doesn't it? Get myself turned around. Go, go, go. That's why we use that straight line reference. So, right. I mean, you could talk yourself into just be like, oh yeah, I had plenty of foot in that. And then you're just like, oh, wait a minute, maybe yeah, I... Enough, yeah. You know what it is, you're, it's, you're only like 10 degrees off. Yeah. You know, it's the perfectionism. <laughs> well, that's, it's, it, we already had the golf talk, right? Right. Oh, miserable, miserable game that keeps people coming back for the perfection. All right, could you orient that sequence card just a little bit more my way? Yeah, sure. So then I can actually tell you the right things to do? <laughs> All right, so after Goldfish, we'll do Shark Tooth. Shark Tooth was a little wonky, but that's okay. okay. I think that was kind of like you just being like, what, Shark Tooth? Okay. Okay. So wonky, you mean I didn't hold an upline enough? Or uh, no, we just kind of like, it was more round on the top than pulley. Okay, so I got to pull a little more aggressively. Yeah, it's almost like it's, it's the idea is you not necessarily pull to the stall, but if we pull so much that it does stall and you just fall out, try to catch it on the 45 down line okay. after the stall. Okay. All right. J meter doors and windows. That was super fun. Right, let me look around just make sure that there's nothing like we had that before. Okay, all right, so we get. Okay, loop, half Cuban, implement, start, all right, and goldfish, then start to. All right, love it, love it, love it. All right, 5500 and down. There you go, pull, 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 hard, there you go, there, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. 12 o'clock, high, Be gentle. less than one mile, Relaxing. level. Fly over, there you go, and pull, 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 pull. And straight back into that half Cuban. Boom, right there, there you go. Pull, 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 you're doing great, you're doing great, you're doing great. Ballistic, 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 we shall float. Find that 45, pop it, use those feet, use those feet. There you go. Beautiful. All right. How about a ha uh, I'm sorry. Immelman. Bo 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 bo. There you go. A little more right foot on that entry, but there it is. Right there. Flip it. 
All right, more stick, less foot on that one. Good. Okay. Dive for the goldfish, please. There you go. Give me big pull, big pull, big pull. There, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There you go. Gently relaxing the back pressure. Ballistic use. There you go. Find that 45. Flip it. There you go. All right. How about that shark tooth? So pull me to the vertical. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you for the right foot on the way in. Hold the vertical right there. Let me get slow. Pull hard. Bam, right there. All right, stop it. Beautiful. Roll over. Cool, cool, cool. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, hop the bump. Pull, 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 pull. Vertical. Vertical. There you go. There you go. You're good. You're good. You're good. Right there. Show me upline. All right, top loop. There you go. Gentle, 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 gentle. Find me a vertical downline, please. Vertical, 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 more right there. Cool, all right, pull, 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 pull. Big pull, big pull, big pull, beautiful. All right, straight into the hammer. Use this energy, use this energy for the hammer. Beautiful. Right there, hold it, hold it, hold, 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 hold. Kick it. Big kick, big kick, big kick, big kick, big kick, big kick. There it is, good. See how you got all your foot in there? Beautiful, all right, should be vertical down. Pull, 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 pull. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, aileron roll. Just quick, throw it. And then competition 270, please. Bam. Oh, that is great. I want you to know how much muscle memory I have for going into the pocket to turn off the camera. <laughs> I'm just like, that's what I do in the competition 270. All right, okay. So my notes on that is on your pulls into the loops and the verticals and everything like okay. that, more right foot. More right foot, okay. Because we were a little draggy, but other than that, it was great. Okay. Back to 2,500. How much did we lose? Uh, right around 1,000. Yeah, uh, like 1,200, uh, actually. Well, whoever drew this sequence knew what was going on. Okay, so we're a little less than half now. Oh, okay. You want to, let's cruise back. Are we okay? All right, let's, hey. all right, we are. What, in, in case, what, what if we get there and it's the layer and then we have to yeah, deal? Okay. The blast, that was too, you just gave me 18 figures, like, in 10 minutes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It feels good because it's like now, like the G's don't bother me that much. Right? So if you do that sequence three times in a row, uh -huh. the third one is generally pretty poor because you don't realize that you're tired. Right. Dude, that was good. Thank you. Okay, so the next time we're gonna start putting the two or four in there and then we'll start doing some crazy unusual attitudes. Okay. So there's lots, there's lots to tune up within the body of the sequence for sure. you. Sure, absolutely. But, I mean, the fact that you actually pieced together nine maneuvers, let's celebrate a little, huh? Yeah. On the slow roll, it's basically top rudder is what it is, right? So, we, I just had you do an aileron roll because uh -huh. slow roll is going to take another five hours. Right, right. We're going to have to do the inverted work, so you're going to have to just go fly upside down, bring your hat thing. Yeah, yeah. So, you're going to have to fly upside down. We'll do Dutch rolls inverted. Right. I'll have you do turns inverted, left and right, those the kind of things. Opposite rudder. That's yes, correct. Well, that's the thing. And then, so uh, the inverted work aids in doing from inverted back to level because in a slow roll, you're basically just doing CG location. So, that doesn't mean the nose is staying put, that means the nose is up, down, up. And so, basically, when you're on knife edge, it's top rudder. When you're inverted, it's lots and lots of forward pressure and then from inverted back up to level going from the inverted to the knife edge to the back the transition from the knife edge back to straight and level flight is a little bit of a trick and so that's where the whole doors and windows things come in because when this is the top of the wing and pulls this one open it loosens this one every time so I've been doing slow roll practice. If you see my hand go up there, that's just because the pressure, this one was rattling a little bit and it'll push and pull on this. So as it pushes and pulls on the door and then this rattles a little bit, this latch comes up. That's why you break me so I can do the latching. Yeah. Dude, that was great. Oh, good. It is true that you like your vision expands so you understand like, oh, I'm off target or I'm off off heading. Hey, I mean, hey. You can do little things to fix it, but it's like I'm still not there where I can fix everything yet. But I told you you were dragging the left wing because you weren't using enough rudder. You saw that straight away. Yeah. Good. Koalinga's in June. Yeah. 
So if I could get three or four people on the airplane, it'll basically be super cheap. Because the ferries got, can't be more than an hour and a half either way. You can lead it a little bit if you like. Yeah. How's that? How's that? Perfect. Yeah, some of your loops were just a little bit rushed, others were super good. I mean, they're just, as you're in the sequence, some of the loops are great, some of the loops not so great, some of the vertical uplines great, some of the vertical uplines not so great. Keep working on it. Oh, that, but that's the thing, it's, it's awesome and frustrating at the same time. I'm always so peaceful. Yeah, it's nice. Well, we're, we're above the inversion, so it should be pretty smooth. Oh, I just mean the parachutes and the airplane. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is about this. Yeah, well, that's just in the past, right? We should expect that. Steve Phillipson was telling me that basically there's this little pocket where this guy took a model airplane glider and he got it up to like 500 knots, whipping it around through this shear on, I think it's either... They, dynamic soaring. Yes, totally. Yeah. And uh, so basically, there's airflow over the airplane that's uh, transonic. Okay. So when it hits, when it goes through the shear layer uh -huh. into the wind, it'll make a crack sound like a rifle shot. Really? That's amazing. Wow. That okay. plane is something is pulling something like 85 Gs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the, uh, so he was telling a story about how basically he was 200 feet. He was 200 pounds on a three foot wing, and he sat in the middle, and the thing didn't bend a bit. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what you need. So you and I aren't doing any dynamic soaring, are we? Yeah. Okay. Dynamic soaring is it, 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 it's very dangerous to do in a manned aircraft. Okay. Because it can go wrong in a heartbeat. Right, right. and then you just cartwheel in pieces? Well, you think about going 500 knots and 10 feet above the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, human reaction time is the limit. That sounds super fun until. Well, RC glider is amazing, but I always hide behind a rock every time I see it. <laughs> that, that, it's a carbon fiber wing. It'll go through you like a sword. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. It's almost solid carbon fiber. Oh. Okay. Okay, so there's like a club. There's like a group of people that are around here, huh? Yep. They're all engineers. Oh, of course. Some of my hang gliding buddies do it. So do they put like little sensors on the airplane? Uh, no, but the servos, so the servos are what we call quarter scale servos, they're big, uh -huh. um, and you can put um, something like a 40 pound weight, so it, it'll, it'll, it does 40 foot pounds of torque. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So the power system uses something like 800 watts just, just to move the control surfaces. Holy cow. So this is truly a vehicle. I mean, this is kind of transcending. Yeah. Okay. And so basically, they lose control because the, they go into compressibility, like the way the World War II hey, fighters yeah, yeah, used to. Yeah. Was that mock tuck or something? Yeah. yeah. What happens is the shock wave goes to the hinge line of the elevator, and then the, everything after the elevator loses. Doesn't the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's heavy traffic. Keep an eye out. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, dynamic story is pretty amazing. Oh, by the way, uh -huh. that super decathlon that you built, uh -huh. that is the shit. It flies real good. Of course it does. It's a decathlon. Yeah. Oh, Little decathlons are just as good as big decathlons. Yeah, that was, uh, it's made in flight. Oh, really? Yeah, I was right on. 19 gusting 25, and I managed to land it. Right on. I'm building, I want to build a 100-inch, uh, a giant scale one. Wow. Wow. 
hundred inches. So that's basically what, seven or eight feet? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. It's a good place to land down there. I wonder if you would have to like drone register that. Uh, so you do have to get a registration for it, but um, under 55 pounds, you don't need an AMA waiver. Okay. So once you go above 55 pounds, you need to get a waiver. Like the jet guys, they need waivers. Those are cool, by the way. Yeah. Like that, that I would, ne as a pilot, I would never actively spend that much time on something that I could man myself. Yeah. But just, uh, I mean. It could be 20, 30 Gs. Yeah, well, and not only that, the way, I'm talking about like the big, like when they just be like, oh, well, we made like a B-2 and made it fly. Yeah. And it's got jets. And you're just like, wow. That's, I mean, that's very serious engineering. Good. And then it was hot. Because yeah. yeah, I'm wearing my long johns. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, I was uh, worried we weren't going to get to do anything. But uh, I wouldn't say I was worried, I was concerned. But right. we, we actually got the flies. So it it's important to be flexible. Yep. Tactical flexibility. Well, and so that's the thing, like, so the rigidity of decision making to one place on one thing and to, to stay within whatever happen pattern that you had uh -huh. in the face of changing conditions, that's what I would consider dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're just like, oh, well, if we go right instead of left, you know, I got air for days. Yeah. Uh, when I started hang gliding, that was my big problem. I get target fixated. Ooh. And the only two crashes I had were because I got really badly Get fixated. That happens to the best of them. Um, I mean, what are they, that, that's the Air Force thing, right? When the fangs go through the floor and you just get like, I'm going to kill that guy no matter what. Yeah. That's a good way to get shot. Yeah. So, like, learning tactical flexibility was a hard, hard process. Oh, yeah. Well, for a working guy, you can't actually tell somebody to just be like, hey, let's go do sketchy flying. Yeah. So you just be like, well, it's good this way. Why don't we try that? And the other thing, so not not everyone has my comfort level on conditions, right? right? And so your performance will degrade if you're not comfortable just yes. being there to begin with. Yes. You know, it was it yeah. was good though, because you know I'm, I'm I'm flying out of that. The visibility is dropping. The good part was is I had fields planned out that I'd already like been on the ground and walked. Oh yeah. That I knew I could make if I needed to. Yeah yeah yeah. I was like, okay, well, if, if the visibility drops too much, then I can just, I'll land in a field and we'll worry about it. And so that's the nice thing about the Bay Area. It's very predictable weather. Yeah. Like, if you see, the, like, this will, this will, that, that little layer over there, uh, it will ease off and then it will come back in yeah. with the heat of the day. Yeah, yeah. And basically, I call it the oven. Yeah. In the morning when it's horrible marine layer, I just feel like we're preheating the oven. It's just got to warm up. That's why during the summer months, I don't fly until 12. Yeah. Just sort of like over it. Yeah, I just looked over the airspeed and they were going 140. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not used to seeing that kind of speed. Yeah, I hear that a lot in this airplane because you're just like, this thing's great. And that's what makes that little jaunt doable in our time spot, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to head right at the bridge because it looks okay. You got it. You got it. These are the days where I feel like Gatorade. Yeah, it's, that's a good thing. Like, I break up fights at my house over the Gatorades. <laughs> Oh, so you learned how to repost on on Instagram. That was a good thing. Katie totally walked me through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was straightforward enough, but she's like, so like the the app that I would have, there's lots of reposting apps as it turns out. Yep, there are. And then she has a one that she preferred. And I'm just like, cool, because you repost a lot of stuff. So yeah. it was very straightforward. I just, I was really happy to have her walk me through it yep. like that first time. But yeah, if you see any of our stuff together that you like, okay, go absolutely. ahead and repost it. 
Well, so that's, I'm, I'm doing my plan. That's why I posted Shelby today. Uh -huh. And I was trying to figure out if we were going to fly today. I always have this kind of like backup plan. Right. It's like, well, if we don't go, I can always just repost that one. Because I want to do that second one from our last, last flight. Okay. So I'm actually going to edit the, our full last flight down a little bit. Okay. And I'll put it up on my YouTube and then uh, I'll Dropbox you the whole file. Okay. And you can do whatever you want with it. So I'm not the best Dropboxer. If you just post it and I repost it, that's almost better. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. You can just link it. You see that twin that we're taking over? Yeah. Okay, good. You got them on the TCAS? No. So it's uh, kind of like 10 o'clock low. Oh, oh no, it's him. a cherry team. Never mind. But you're absolutely just flying Falling by. Up down. Yeah. So it doesn't look like the TCAS is picking up anything. Oh, well, we got all the stuff on. Yeah, we do. We are kicking his ass. That doesn't happen to us very often, does it? On a high wing airplane? It does. Oh, that's a, it is a twin. It's like a, that's a diamond. Diamond? Oh, it's A42. It's probably going to Hayward. So. Being the airplane's strong, I'd have to slow down normally. All right. I say that's honestly that's that's a, a, a huge reason why I actually just really started teaching tailwheel. Uh -huh. Back when I was a junior CFI, uh -huh. you know, I still had the whole "oh my god, these people are going to kill me" thing, like uh -huh. all young CFIs do. Right. And so I was like, if I was in the Starbury, I'm just saying, there's nothing that these people can get me into that I can't get myself out of. Right. So I was almost insistent on the tailwheel thing. And then, you know, after the first thousand hours, you're just sort of like, oh, whatever. And now we're on windward side, so it should be okay. Get it. Here's below 20, 2500, that's good. Yeah, so what was breathing in on the way out for us is breathing out on the way back. See yeah. that? Yeah, it's nice. There's something to be said for knowing the terrain, too, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, as I start flying more in Southern California, I mean, it, I'm 15 years gold down there with the exception of a couple of trips. Yeah. I used to be able to, I could still kind of do it that way, but 